What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? Hi, everyone. Welcome back to our next vlog with Bilal and Shida. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You know we... Did I say channel? Don't forget to like and subscribe, subscribe to our YouTube channel. I thought that was like this, like a trendy, no. like a trendy slip. And you know, you guys, we make videos every week for you all just to look at. You know, all the fast people, all the fast people who like to mark with business. We're making this video for you guys, right? So come ahead, come and mark with us and see what we are up to. podcast today let's go ahead and cut to Costway because these chairs these nice uh, chairs that we are sitting on right now they are from these? Costway these uh aren't these beautiful let me well baby it's okay we are, going to, we are going to cut and show you guys how beautiful these accent chairs are very comfortable modern and super affordable and if you want to know more about these chairs from Costway it's in our description so go ahead Introducing the chenille velvet accent chair with storage pockets from Cosway, a perfect blend of comfort and functionality. Elevate your space with its luxurious chenille velvet upholstery with conveniently stowing away essentials in its built-in storage pockets. Don't miss out on this stylish addition to your home. Also from Costway, the blue linen fabric accent chair, a perfect blend of style and comfort. This chic piece is also available in versatile gray and pristine white options. Elevate your space with this modern accent chair and enjoy 10% off site-wide with code GSPKFBS on Costway. Visit the description box below to upgrade your decor effortlessly. Okay, okay, okay. So we thought we take an opportunity on this vlog or podcast. We, uh -huh. we do a podcast down the day. Uh, there's some trending topics, right? Uh -huh. And uh, one of the biggest trending topic, you know, at least culturally wise, you know, um, obviously we got Subo and everything like that coming up. Big up to my Chiefs. Boom, 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 boom. Um, is it was a podcast Shaq was talking on, and he was talking about. Just like for fellas, like opening up to a woman, mm -hmm. like men shouldn't open up to a woman because why women tend to throw it back at you in your face not when things all. are when things are not going right. You, you see, a lot of these men are attracted to toxic women. Okay, let's be real. Toxic women are a catch, right? They look good. They have a hot mouth. Uh, these men are attracted to that. So if you are with a toxic woman, she's going to spit it back in your face and tell you everything from your grandparents dead and blah, blah, blah. It's, it's a lot. You know, I'm speaking from having toxic friends in my past and I know how that, that could go. Okay. So when it comes to that, I think he kind of puts every woman in that category. The toxic woman. Yes. Not every woman. Mm. Okay. And a lot of these Let's be real, a lot of these these public figures and stuff, they like the toxic woman, right? So I disagree with that statement. No, baby, do so I do that to you? So, so let's 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 rewind a little bit. Let's rewind. Uh -huh. You you talked about, you know, toxic women, which there are toxic women out there for sure. Uh -huh. and, and let's be real, there's toxic men, uh -huh. right? Um you mentioned that, you know, you had a, quite a few friends that are toxic. I always grew up with the saying, birds of a feather flock together. Back in your past when you just get to know people, you know, some of them were just spit things back and I can't take that type of energy, yeah. you know. So I know when it comes to certain, you know, relationships or friendships, I've met people like that in my past. So when I heard him speak like that, but it's, it's toxic. Whether it's a friendship, whether it's a relationship, it's toxic to spit something back in someone's face when they do something for you. And unfortunately, you'll, feel, you'll, you'll find both men and women are like that. A lot of women are like that. And let's speak it from experience. So this is the question I have for Bilal. Am I like that to you? Um, do I spit things back in your face? Be honest with me. You want me to be 100? Yes, do I spit things back in you, your face? You want me to be 100? Yes. I hate when you said be 100 because he's always saying something that I'm not going to agree with. But go ahead. <laughs> so you, 
You just so you just say you want me to be honest, but then you said <laughs> <laughs> that's that's what we're talking do about. Do I do that too? Do I spit things back in your face? Here's the thing. Answer me no. It's been on child. Here's the thing. A lot of people do that, and you say yes, men and women do it, but there are by far, I would say a lot of women. No, what I do, I give reminders, and give a reminders, it's okay, okay. I give reminders, I'll spit things back, like if something good for me, like, babe, I I did so and so, you know. I give reminders, like I let them know who put the diamonds on the finger. Sometimes you have to give gentle reminders of who put the diamonds on the finger. If I do something like, I don't, sometimes you will give me a little lip service, Bella. I don't, I don't have any diamonds on my finger, babe. And I'll be like, you got the diamonds, baby. <laughs> who, who, who put it on your finger? I put some diamonds on your finger too. I don't have any diamonds. What do you mean? <laughs> There's no diamonds. So that's why I have something really nice. I think about the vlog. You're like, oh, check out the birthday vlog, what I did for Bilal. That's and not what we're talking about. This he, is, that's me, it. And when he gave me a little bit of lip service, I have to remind him to look at the vlog and let him know how much money I spent on him. So Yeah. See, that's not what we're talking about. What we're talking about is that <laughs> men opening up, meaning that men naturally our nature is to be, you know, we're, we're, we're a little guarded, mm -hmm. right? You know why? Because men, and I've said this before, men are not sh as strong as women. We're, we're stronger when it comes to physical standpoint, obviously, but when it comes to like sentiments and mentally, et cetera, et cetera, women are by far much more stronger than men. Mm -hmm. I honestly 100% believe that, all right? Now, with that being said, is that men, we can't take certain things, you know, like that's like uh, most men maybe only fall in love maybe two, three times tops in their entire life. All right. You know, other stuff, they're not really in love. Women, they can be in love. And the next thing you know, things don't work out. They're heartbroken. And then they'll jump back into it. Men, we're like, we guard. We're, we're much more guarded. So with that being said. If we are vulnerable, which we don't never like to be vulnerable, mm -hmm. it's hard for us to open up and talk about some stuff that happened to us, where there was something that happened to us in our childhood that may affect certain things, whatever, whatever. So what we're talking about is that if a man opens up and discuss some of those things. Am I not pretty violent? No, I'm just being, I'm being, that's just a topic. If a man opens up and discuss some of those things. He doesn't want that to be thrown back and say, oh, well, the, you, that only acts, you only act like that because your father used to do that to you when you was growing up. He's like, are you kidding me? I would never, ever tell you anything, again, that's vulnerable because you like to throw that in my mouth. That's what we're talking about. We're not talking about gifts or anything like that. Ah, uh, because I don't really do that. I just was giving them an example of if I have to say something, sometimes I have to give you some reminders because you tend to forget Especially when I put those diamonds on the finger. You keep you keep saying diamonds, but they're literally there's there's nothing. That's better. Did it? Did it in English? It's figuratively speaking, sweetheart. Baby, well, here in America, when we say putting diamonds on the finger, yeah, that is talking about a man putting a diamond on your finger, <laughs> wiping you up. That's that's. It's figuratively speaking. You, you know vernacular, hip hop, culture, You know, culture, you et cetera, know et cetera. English terms. Yeah, baby, we're not in England. We're not in I know, England, but baby. You English. This is okay. this is hip hop. You okay. see, you see it. You see it. You see the Please stripes. Please comment if you understand what I mean when I said put diamonds on the finger. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Eric, all, like, all the women like gonna be in the comments Listen, like, eh, like, we we know we're shy. He doesn't is like to admit about. when his it, wife it, 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 does nice things for him. I know he does a lot of great things for me. Like I'm so grateful for this man right here. You guys know that this is my trump card. This is my my sweet, sexy, handsome, chocolate guy. Okay, you see, when I try to give him compliments, what he's don't doing, think, but this is what I'm saying. Ah, I do put some diamonds on his finger too, think. okay? I do yeah. put the diamonds. And sometimes I have to remind him of putting the diamonds on the finger. But I'm trying to, I'm trying to see, like, where does that, where did that come from? Like, literally, she has to up herself to feel like she's doing something because she knows I've done, I do, like, a million things compared Whatever to her with the one thing. So... We're not even discussing I, I, that right I treat, now. <laughs> I treat you well. I just want to know. I treat you well. Baby, what are we talking about? I treat you good. Let's take a shot. Okay. Back on topic. Baby, are we talking about all the stuff that you that I do for you? Is that is that what we're talking about right you're now? You're talking about your wife has done for that's, you. That's not what we're talking about. The discussion is men opening up and saying, she don't even know what the conversation is about. I am, but listen. This matter of fact, me. matter of fact, matter of fact, this is what we're going to, we're going to play for you exactly what we're talking about. Okay. Right now. Open up to a woman? Yeah. Never. No. Never. When's the last time you think you've opened up to a woman? We don't. 
in your whole life. Bro, I'm telling you. They Man, gonna... got players like, like I, I could, me and him related. Yeah. It's our first time meeting, yeah, but I, I did. Tell you yeah, guys, yeah, there's yeah, some connection here. Oh, no. And yeah. they're going to tell you you can. Because you know what? Whenever something goes down, they're going to throw it back in your face. Well, that's, I've had that's that. why. That's real. That's why. I said earlier on, I said, I don't think every woman throws it back in a guy's face. I don't think every woman will throw it back in a man's face when they're upset with you. Of course, you. Not, not every woman. No, but... there's a difference between throwing back and giving reminders. But... Like for me, in my relationship, I give him reminders. I don't throw it back. Do I baby, throw it back, that's baby? That's literally what that means. Do like... I throw it back? It didn't answer my question. Baby. If someone is discussing something that is happens to them, yeah. Throwing it back means that you will find a way to put it back and throw it back in somebody's face and saying that, oh well, you did this because do 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 happened to you. Mm. Or you do 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 because this da da or did it da da. That's literally throwing back. So if you want to say a reminder, then yes, that's throwing back. Reminder, that's throwing back. Please Reminded, come in. Please reminded. come in. I remind us throwing it back. Yeah, 100%. I think throwing it back is when you're upset and you're trying to get it back. It's like, okay, yeah. That's literally. You, you, that's, that's why you that's, so. That's, that's, your daddy was. You that's know. literally what I just said. That's reminders literally what I just said. is. Baby, if someone says uh, they they say something to you, yeah, and you don't like it or whatever, and you say, baby, you only say that because you grew up. And you didn't have, you know, a mama, and you know, you so you didn't have any, uh, you know, you, you grew up in a rough environment. Do do do. You can say it nicely, yeah. But that's still throwing it back in her face, baby. Mm, I think I think when it comes <laughs> to throwing it back, it's when you're upset. No reminders is when you guys are cool. Like, could just give reminders like, uh, didn't I do X Y Z for you, baby? And you know, I don't, you know, it's things in a nice way when you baby, guys are on, baby, on good terms, so shy, it's not throwing shy. back. Why Please you, comment and let me why know you if I want saying, to say Why do you keep saying reminders of doing something? We're not talking about doing something for somebody. That is not... Look, because listen, so let listen, me tell you something. Let me, listen, listen, listen. The conversation is not about doing something for somebody. That's not what we're talking about. Okay? You are off subject right now. We I'm are not. talking about... Listen. Listen, baby. We are talking about the conversation Shaq was talking about on the podcast is that don't open up to a woman. That has nothing to do with giving... To anything. Look, he is talking about as a man, don't be so open to 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 be so open to a woman where you you're being vulnerable and letting her know like everything that is inside of your heart, your mind, you know, where like because now you're feeling vulnerable because she's gonna throw it back at you or any given time when there's a disagreement, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. This is not talking about anything about doing something for somebody. That's not what we're talking about. Okay. Yeah, you see that? We're talking, we're talking about opening up. Open yeah. up. We're not talking kids. Like babe. I said. We're talking about opening up. Like opening I said, up. one of I know we're talking about opening up, but I was just I was focused on just one issue, it one part of opening up. For me, like, you know, it could be throwing back gifts in your face, um, using your insecurities against you, like um as a as a weapon against you, which you shouldn't do. So back on the topic of So we're saying should men open up to women? I think you could open up to women, but a lot of these men like to find this toxic woman, yes. Because they have a big booty and they look good. The one that just lay in bed with them and 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 wanna just talk all about their business. Oh my god, this happened. But here's the thing. Are, are and men... guess what? Those type of women would definitely throw back in your face. And I say no one. Are, are men, you have to are find men, a good woman, not a toxic one. Are men like intentionally looking for like a toxic woman? Or are because you said earlier, you said most women are toxic. I didn't say most women are toxic because I'm not toxic. These men say, like oh, to I'm these men oh. like to find toxic women. Mm -hmm. That's the truth. Right, so if you find a toxic woman, she's gonna have that type of personality, and she's gonna throw it back in your face. You know, some people like the fun, some people like the excitement in the relationship. Some people find relationships are boring when it's not toxic. You know, like TV. Mm -hmm. Some people find it's boring when it's not toxic. So they like the little back and forth, the makeup intercourse that comes with it, the wild makeup intercourse. So if you're attracted to that type of thing, so it would have it comes with a package, right? So. For me, it's like most women are not toxic, but you're going to have a lot of toxic women out there. And unfortunately, these public figures are attracted to that. So if most, we're not talking public figure, because like if you get in the comments, these are regular everyday people. 
So what we're, we're talking about, Shaq is the one that said it. He's a public, yes. Yes, but, and Shaq, like, toxic, okay? After he divorced, he was with a host of the toxic women after that. Okay, we're not subject. Because if she comes calling you right now about doing some show, you're going to be right there. After he She's divorced, right <laughs> after he divorced, yeah. he went to me, he went to, with a whole host of toxic women after that. And yeah. he, that's why he is never married. Yeah. He is by himself. Well, he's, so he's always his, said that he messed up that the best yeah, woman after was his, his divorce, yeah. he, made a, he made a lot of bad choices. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. But it's not really about Shaq. What I'm talking about, though, he made a comment, but most guys agree with it. Because the reality is, is that, and you kind of made, you know, you, you kind of said something earlier, that a lot of women, and I don't consider, you know, just because you do it, you're toxic. But a lot of women do tend to throw that in your face. Yeah. That's, that's the reality. And I don't say that the women are toxic. It's just that it's I think that... It's a toxic that, trait. I think it is a toxic trait for sure. But I don't think that, you know, just because a person does it, they're toxic. Mm -hmm. But I do believe that... And men do it too. But by far, women tend to do that much more. Because at the end of the day, we do know that women has a mouth... Men, women tend to have a mouthpiece. Mm -hmm. And they'll say some stuff to, to whatever they can do to get you, to hurt you, whatever, whatever. And so that's saying it to say that he's saying men, and you see all in the comments, a lot of men agree, like opening up sometimes can cause a lot of damage to the degree. Yeah. So it's like, when should you open up or should you never open up to a woman to that degree? Like, and hold some things in because... God forbid if you ever get into a disagreement. At the end of the day, should not weaponize anyone's insecurities against them. Like, try not to do that. And someone tells you something in confidence, you try not to spit it back. And if you just throw it back, you should apologize and try to move forward and not do it again. That's the best advice I could give to someone like that. Okay? So, and you say you knew people who kind of. What? Don't want it in people's face. Yeah, they're, they're, it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's completely common especially in, I, you know it's, it's it's an unfortunate pattern you know sometimes it's done from their parents doing it to them and they decide to pick up that negative quality and do it to their, their partner or significant other so um, with that being said you have to know yourself and you have to know if you're if you have that quality you try to control it and if you can't control it try to apologize and try not to repeat it so that's all I can say, because you know, sometimes you could be like, oh yes, I, I, I'm the type that spits back things in my relationship. But you have to know that moving forward, it's, it's not a good quality to have. Okay? So if you was a therapist, right? Because you're looking like a therapist right now. She's like, I'm all like just kind of, she's just, she. But if you was a therapist, what advice would you give for men to, to be like, what should they do in a relationship? Should they, should they open up? Should they be a little bit? open just a little bit be more cold try to you know i don't know like what like what advice would you give yeah my advice as i'm not a therapist so i'm just going to i'm just going to speak on my opinion on what men should do when it comes to um finding a spouse or significant other in a relationship that will not do that you have to keep it in until you get to know the person a little you know better feel more comfortable get, and whatever insecurities you have or whatever you face in your past try not to just bring it forward immediately and when you get into a relationship get to know that person you will see qualities in that person because when someone is upset their true not nature comes out see how they cope with things when they are angry and if you feel like they have a tendency to throw things back and you haven't opened up to them as yet then they're gonna fall back and keep your personal life your insecurities to yourself and moving forward, I think you need to find someone else, especially if you really want to have a spouse you can open things up to and move forward without them spitting things back in your face. So let's know that relationship is short term. You might want to move on to find someone who you can trust and someone who will not spit it back in your face. So for men moving forward, try you know keep it, keep yourself close until you, you you find the right person that you can open up to. That's all I could I will say. Because if you're just not going to keep yourself close and open up to anyone, guess what? You're just going to be in a series of difficult relationships and feeling like, oh my God, these women are so toxic. I, every time I open up to them, they throw things back in my face. And it's been happening to me with Sarah, Tina, Murphy. The list goes on. I don't know why I said Murphy. Murphy's my little sister's <laughs> name, by the way. That was her nickname, Murphy. So I hope you guys enjoy this podcast. Well, she said it, fellas.
Yeah. Listen to the queen. Yeah. Hold on. Keep yourself guarded. Keep your heart guarded. Hold on to your insecurities. Do not say anything until you meet the right one. Remember, you get to see someone's true nature. And this is Islam. When you live with them, when you travel with them, when you do business with them. So once you have someone in your life and you're doing these three, the idol, or these three things, you're going to see the person's true character. And then you're going to be like, okay, this is not the shorty that I want to move forward with because she tends to throw things back. Or this is the person I want to move forward with because I've seen her for who she really is. And I could cope with it and deal with that. Anyhow, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this podcast. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Look at her being a little, got a little hip hop in her now. Talk about shorty. All right, shorty, shorty. <laughs> All right, folks, until next time. Peace.